Are you confused about how to create and set up a project in Asana? I got you. In this video, I will walk you through step-by-step -step how to set up your project and all the options you have to customize your setup. Hi, my name is Samantha. In case you're new here, I am an online business manager and Asana system specialist, helping you save time and mental energy through an organized, systemized business. If you're interested in learning more about my services, you can check the description below for all the links. All right, before we get started, let me know in the comments what you what questions you have about Asana or what you would like to see in a future video so that I can make videos that you are wanting to see and that will help you the most. Okay, let's get into the tutorial. All right, so you can set up a new project in an existing team or you can always create a new team with this plus button here. But for the purposes of this video, I'm not showing you how to set up a team, I'm showing you how to set up a project. So within your existing team, uh, you can select this new project button. You can also go over here and by hovering over the team that you want the project in, you can click create project here. Both of these bring up the same options. And really quickly, in case you don't know what I'm talking about when it comes to teams, if you don't have the option to add new team, then you just have the one team under the team <laughs> label, <laughs> um, then uh, you will want to watch this video up here to make sure that you are optimizing Asana to its full potential as an online business owner. All right, so using this option here, we're going to click new project. And then there are three options here you can start fresh with a blank project. You can use a template if you have a version of Asana that allows you to store templates within Asana in the way that they intend you to use templates. I do have a video actually showing you how to use templates in the free version of Asana. I have a hack that I use so that I don't have to recreate the wheel every time. Um, that video is right here if you want to watch it. And in that case, if you do know how to upload a template that you've already created or maybe you purchased from me, <laughs> then you would import it as a spreadsheet right here. So, but for the purposes of this video, we are going to start with a blank project. All right, and then here you have some different options. So first you are going to choose a project name. So we will just call this a demo um, under the team demo. You can also decide here that, oh, I didn't actually want it under that team and you can choose the team that you meant to put it under. So here you can select some privacy options. Uh, so you can choose to make it public to the entire team or just private to, actually it says private to project members. So that to me, it sounds like it means that it's going to be private to uh, all the members within that project, but not to anyone else within this team. However, in the free, if you're using the free version of Asana, which is what I specialize in helping you optimize, um, it actually, you can only have yourself in a private project. So if you are going to make it private, just know that you can't invite anyone else to it. It is just for yourself. Uh, if you do have an upgraded version of Asana, if you're paying for Asana, then you can have it just like it sounds and have multiple project members in there, but uh, no one else within this team can view this project <laughs> okay and so and a workaround around that is just to create a private team between you and another team member or multiple team members who you don't want everyone involved in um, instead of separate projects um, that helps you stay within the free version of Sona but still allows for that privacy so there are still options to make projects private just not within the same team if that makes sense let me know in the comments if you have any questions about that. All right, and then you have the different options for views. So you have the standard list view, which is like the checklist style. You have the board view, which is like um, a Trello board, if you're familiar with that, or like Kanban style, I believe is what it's called. But here in Asana, it's just called board. So that's what I know it as. And then uh, timeline is only available in the paid versions. That's what this little uh, symbol means. Oh, and if you scroll over it, it does say that as well. And then you can also have it set up in calendar view. So you see all your tasks in a uh, calendar um, style. So for the purposes of this video, we will just select list to get started. And I can show you um, what the others look like as well, because you can always switch it later and switch between them as you go as well. So then create project. All right. And then you have your project created. So here, as I said, this is the list view. Um, I will go through just quickly to show you 
Uh, so you can add sections like this. So we will just put section here and then these are your tasks. So task, task two, etc. And you can add multiple sections. You can have section two. Oh, that didn't type when I tried to type it. Section two. Uh, and then again, tasks underneath here. Uh, and you can do that as many times as you wish, but I just wanted to show you what that looks like with the list style. And then you can also see it in the board format. And Asana is really awesome in that it just carries these right over to whatever view you want to see it in. This can be really handy if sometimes you want to view it in a certain way and other times you want to view it in another way. So like for a content calendar, for example, you might want to work with it in a list or board view but then view it in the calendar view so you can see it all laid out once you have the dates scheduled and all of that um, so i'll just quickly go through and show you so this is the board option um, for some reason it always adds this untitled section here when you do start with a list view and move into board but you can just easily delete that and then you can see your sections and tasks just like that all right and then you can also switch it to calendar view oh here i will actually add some dates to these so we can see what that looks like so if i choose that and then tomorrow and the next day for example and then if we switch to calendar view then you can see they show up in your calendar all right so those are the different view options you can also color code these and do a whole bunch of different fun things with them um, but for the purposes of this video i'm just focusing on how to set up your project so we won't go into all the things okay uh, you can also, I'll just quickly show you the overview. So this is just what it sounds like an overview. You can add a project description. You can set the status. Uh, you can set an actual due date for the project itself um, and just see all the things at a glance that you need to see. So if you did change your mind and want to view it as a board going forward so that every time you open this project, it will open in the board view instead of the list view, or if you want to do a calendar, same thing. Uh, then you click these three dots here and you can click set as default. And then now going forward every time it will open in that way here. I will just quickly show you. Oh, see, look, it even says down here, everyone who opens this project will see it as a board first. So, you know, if I went, um, even just if I go to my demo, uh, team again and then click into it it will open as a board whereas if you have it set to the list because I didn't show you this before I'll just show you so now we have it set to default and opening to a list so if I try to open it then it will open as a list all right isn't that great so you can always change your mind later and decide what you know what works best for you everybody works differently and you might want to do different things for different projects as well all right, so then up at the top here, you see um, there are some different options here. You can go ahead and change the name of your new project if you want by clicking there. You can also click this down arrow to see some more options. You can edit the project details. Again, you can change the name here. You can change the team that it is under. You can set the due date, the owner, and you can write the description right within here. All right, and then you have a bunch more options here. You can select a color and an icon for it. So if you wanted it to be pink or gray, you can do that. You can set any of these icons if you want to identify it in that way, if that's something that helps you. Um, I love using the colors. Um, all right, and then if you want to send this project to someone, if you're like talking about it and you want to reference it and say like, hey, check out this project for any reason, then you can copy the project link here and just send them over that link and it will open up this project in Asana for them when they click on it. You can also duplicate this project if you want to reuse all of your anything, if you just want you know to use the same project again for whatever reason. Um, you can also import into it, you can export it out, you can move it to another team with this, and just like you did, could also do in the project details, you can, you, you can even easier uh, use this option right here to just move it to another team. And you can archive the project if you want to keep it, but no longer um, like have access to it in this. So when you click on the team, uh, then you can see it here. But if you want to view your archived projects, you can do that here and then it would appear there. So it's not gonna show you know, in your list of projects under the team when you scroll over it, archived projects are not listed here. So it kind of hides it from you, but doesn't delete it. However, if you do want it gone forever, then you can click delete project and actually delete it forever. You can also star the project so that it appears up here in your starred section. So by clicking this star, and then you'll see it appears right here. And then you can also set the status of it here, just like I showed you on the overview page. You can mark uh, where it's at, if it's on track, 
you know, if it's complete, any of those things. You can also invite a new member to your team after it is created by clicking right here. You can add a new member here by clicking this little uh, circle here, and then you can add members by email. You can send them a message. You can also type in, start typing in their name here. And if they're already a part of your Asana organization, then you can just click on them here instead of sending them an actual email. You can also choose the different options uh, for what you want them to have access to or what permissions you want them to have here. So you can make them a project admin, which gives them full access to change anything in the project. You can have them as an editor where they can add, edit, or delete anything in the project. Or if you have an upgraded version of Asana, then you can um, create even more permissions and just have them uh, be able to comment, but not be able to change anything within the project. All right, and then you can see that you also have all of these options up here. Um, well, first you can add a task up here as well. Um, you can add a section up here as well instead of clicking down here. There's That's the thing with Asana, there's like so many different ways of doing everything, depending how your mind works. Asana can work for you basically. Um, okay, so up here you have these options. You can filter your tasks in all of these different ways. So if I had some completed tasks, so if these two were completed, for example, then I could filter them out and only show incomplete tasks so that we're not getting all cluttered with all the tasks that we've already completed. You can also do the opposite and just show completed tasks if that's something that you just want to see um, for whatever reason. You can show just tasks that are assigned to yourself. You can show tasks that are due this week and due next week. And then again, instead of choosing through these quick filters, you can, there's another way to do the exact same things. You can click this down arrow and uh, choose which way to sort it or filter it uh, through those options as well. You also have a bunch of sorting options. You can sort them by due date, by assignee, by the date they were created on, completed on, by the likes that they have, and by alphabetical order. You can also choose to hide certain things like assignees. So if I click this and then you'll see that assignee column goes away. Same with the due date. Uh, you can add the collaborators uh, column here. You can add the projects over here and you can add tags if you have tags on the tasks as well. All right, if you are looking for inspiration for all of the types of projects you can set up in Asana, check out this video to see all of the projects that I have set up in my Asana account. Let me know if you have any follow-up questions about creating or setting up a project. Put those in the comments below and I'll be happy to help you out. Okay, thank you so much for watching. I will see you next week. Bye.